We have breaking news now on Sandy's impact. Right now, Governor Lincoln Chafee is holding a news conference at the EMA headquarters in Cranston alongside officials from National Grid. Let's listen in. Storm surge coming up Narragansett Bay and the same damage we saw in these southern coastal areas in particular, if that had happened up and down the bay, we really would have been in bad shape. So now it's cleanup time and uh, the crews are out there. Very, very impressive to see uh, the local DPW crews shoveling rocks, uh, working hard in all the areas we saw, really hustling. And now we're going to ask a uh, national grid to hustle as we've seen uh, all these others out there doing their best. Everybody really pitching in, uh, private business owners shoveling the sand out of the businesses out on Block Island in Musquamacate. And uh, now we're going to ask grid, that, that's what we have in front of us, uh, get our people back over their electricity. We have the experience of uh, Irene and now we're asking grid really hustle like we've seen all these Rhode Islanders out there. And so that's what we have in front of us. Clean up, get our power restoration, and uh, I'll turn it over now uh, to Colonel O'Donnell who'll talk about some of the public safety that he's uh, been so su successful and skillful at addressing. We've had a relatively safe uh, event here. I don't think uh, there's been any real serious injury. So that I have to thank the Rhode Island citizens for being careful and cautious. We came through this without any serious injury. Correct, Colonel O'Donnell, is that, that accurate? Okay, you're up. Thank you, Governor. Uh, good evening. We're just asking that the citizens continue to do, be vigilant and stay off the roads if possible. Um, we're in a different phase now, especially by the coastal areas. We flew over in a helicopter today with the general, and there's a lot of things happening with people, their sightseers they want to see, they want to enjoy, but they're creating a lot of problems for us down at the coast. Um, a lot of the water that they're walking is stagnant water and it's sewage water and nails and things like that where they can get very sick. So we're asking them to, to stay away. The Gawk Fact should be done so the DPW crews, the police can do it. We have National Guard, state police and local police potting up. We also have traffic control points that are not working correctly right now. Right now the power's not in. So you'll see mock police cars there. We're asking you to slow down and we'll divert the traffic as best we can. But um, the biggest message is um, when you're driving, go slow. And on the way here on 295, the speed limit is not the speed limit during a storm. It's do care by driver means drop your speeds so we don't have to clean up a mess later. Um, where we're doing a pretty good job with this. Thank you. Thanks, Colonel. I stepped on a nail on Roy Carpenter's beach, so he's right. Be careful out there. Didn't go through my boot, though. Uh, now the person you want to all hear from, Tim Horan from National Grid. Tim, hope okay. you have some good news for us. Sure. Thank you, Governor. Well, in less than uh, 24 hours since Hurricane Han Sandy uh, hit Rhode Island, we've got uh, approximately 40,000 of our customers uh, back in service. We've uh, addressed hundreds of 911 and wires down calls uh, throughout the state. Uh, nine of our substations were flat. We've got eight of those back in service. The northern part of the state, uh, we've made, uh, uh, as with the rest of the state, tremendous amount of progress. Uh, we've already started moving some of our crews uh, into the southern part of the state to address those issues. Um, clearing the roads, public safety, assessing the damage out there. We've been tackling those within 24 hours and at the same time uh, restoring customers. So you see our crews out there working tirelessly uh, throughout the day. Con our, tr our crews and contractors will continue uh, throughout the night. We have some issues on the gas part of the business in Westerly. We should have uh, a longer period of time to get those customers back in service. By the end of the week, our Newport gas customers uh, should be back in service once we uh, clean out those systems. So we have hundreds of personnel on the ground here in Rhode Island working with the DPW personnel, working with the state police, the National Guard, the DOT, to get our customers and citizens of Rhode Island back in service as soon as possible. Thank you. Thanks, Tim. Theresa Murray, do you have anything to add? And you've been watching a live news conference from the EMA headquarters in Cranston. We'll be back with more in just a minute.